how y'all do it. I'm out riding around in the rain. I'm gonna pick up my boat. I'm gonna drive through Mom's yard. I leave my boat up in St. Joe every winter. We duck on up there and I take it up. Day before, day or two before duck season, check out everything, make sure it's all good. And then I spend the first week of duck season up there. That's what we do. And uh, I usually leave it there in case we go back up for a late hunt. Uh, Springtime's here now. Got to have my boat and go get it. Come home, get ready to start fishing. Get out on the river, get some of that big catfish. I can make some videos of that. Just drove across the Grand River. It's uh, just about full. It's been raining non-stop here. Lucky to get a night out to go coon hunting in between the rain and then you're walking ankle deep water. So I was bored. I was driving along listening to Christmas songs. We only got 281 days till Christmas, y'all. If I don't get a Christmas present from everybody, it's not because I didn't let y'all know it was coming. I gave you a 281 day head start. You can get me something, surely. 281 day. I don't like fruitcake. Nah, I'm just teasing. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, though. All the families get together and have a good time. Thanksgiving comes in. That's what I like about fall. It's, see, I'm a hunter and a fisherman. I fish when I can't hunt. That's just how that works. When hunting season comes in, guys, trust me, I'm in the woods. I love to hunt. We start out, frog season opens up July, June 29th, 30th, at midnight. And trust me, we're there. We go frog hunting. September 1st is opening day of dove season here in Missouri. And I'll guarantee you, September 1st, me and my kids, we're in the woods. We're out there shooting doves. We shoot them. My dog Cash, he'll go get them, bring them to me. We take them home and clean them, and you know what? We eat them. That's about as good as you can get. And then, about the middle of September, we got teal season, which is a little bitty duck. We're there. We're killing teal. And you got archery season for deer. I'm not a big archery man. Nothing against it. More power to him. My son, he's a big bow hunter. My son-in-law, he loves to bow hunt. My daughter, she's got some crossbow now. I guarantee you my daughter will be out there killing deer. I know there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, that's terrible. You shouldn't kill those poor little animals. But, you know, you, you can't get any more organic meat than what we kill out in the hunt while we're hunting. That is as good a meat as you'll ever get in your mouth. There ain't no fat. There ain't no chemicals. It's good wild meat. Then we go rabbit hunting. Duck season rolls in about the first of November. Pheasant, quail. November 15th, that's opening night of coon season. And I'll guarantee you, I don't miss opening night of coon season. Don't do it. I don't care if it's pouring down rain or a blizzard. Me and my dogs will be in the woods. November 15th at midnight. I do it every year, ever, ever. We coon hunt, we coon hunt. The season opened up November 15th, closes up January 31st. Last year I hunted less during season than I ever have. We hunted about 30 nights out of all that. We still killed around 70, 80 coons. Gonna kill more, but the weather was terrible this year. But I'm gonna be out there. Billy's gonna get hunted hard this year. We're gonna have them puppies. Hope 
hopefully everything goes good on that. I've got Wild Bill Wilkins out in Ohio. He's already got a hold of me. He wants a little mail from me. Already got a name for it. Another boy over in Northwest Missouri. He called the other day. He, uh, he told me he wants a female puppy. This old boy, he hadn't been coming out for five or six years. <coughs> Excuse me. I went up there last season. Took him hunting with Spooky Lily one night. And he said he'd seen enough out of them two that night. He wants a pup. I said, well, make sure you get you one then. Anybody out there that would like to pub, let me know. I've got a banner up on my community tab, my phone number's on it, you can shoot me a text. That's fine. I don't believe these pubs are going to last long. So, they should be really good ones. Lily just a year old. She's been running and treeing by herself since she was 10 months old. And now when you turn her loose with Spook, she won't hardly back him on a tree. She'd rather be on one by herself. She'll go find her own coon at a year old. Good solid little tree dog, got a beautiful mouth. Pretty as they come. Heavy liver bread on top. Heavy, heavy cat guitar rattler on bottom. Should be a heck of a litter. I, probably the most anxious I've ever been on any litter of pups. So, I'm anxious for that. I'm anxious to get this boat home. I hope y'all can hear this rain. It's flat pouring down. My mom said my boat's in her backyard. She said, don't you tear up my yard getting that boat out. I said, all oh, right. I won't even hardly make it. Spend the grass. Oh, it's a black coming down. Get my boat home. Get the battery all charged up, ready to go. Everybody else, talk about this coronavirus. We kind of, at my house, we kind of quarantined ourselves in. Haven't been going out any more than necessary. Like today, I'm going up here. Gonna get my boat. Uh, my mom, she's gonna come down and stay with us till all this. It's over with. So, I hope y'all out there are safe. <coughs> no, I don't. I don't know what all think about this. Can't be good. 51 years old, almost 52, and at no point in my 52 years have I ever seen a total world shutdown. Period. For any any reason. Never happened. This virus, I don't know if that's the whole cause of the shutdown or what the whole cause is. I believe there's, I believe there's more to it, but that's my opinion. No facts proven. Uh, we're just going to hunt her down for a while and take necessary precautions. As long as my, my family good and safe, I mean, I pray for every one of you, but i got to take care of my kids and my, my family. My wife's home now. She's maybe got school down for she teaches. She'll be home. But they're still teaching. Don't think just because they closed the school down here that they closed the school down. She's still a teacher. They're doing it. All the kids in her class took home Chromebooks. She's teaching them on that Chromebook. She spends more time. I believe now, working on that computer is what you spent at school. So, still learning to make that. Teachers are underrated. They don't get the credit they deserve. I won't get into that. I might make a few people upset. I just feel like teachers don't get the credit that they deserve. They don't get near the money. As a basketball coach at the high school, 
all he's doing is teaching them how to play a game. A teacher, they're teaching you what you need to know to survive. Come to teach you how to play a game, and I'm sorry for that event, people. Basketball and baseball players and football players out there making millions of dollars. Millions of dollars to play a game. And guys, there's people out here working coal mines, teaching schools. I mean, it's just crazy what people are doing with jobs. I mean, look at a trade, man. That's a job that nobody wants. But he's earning his money, people. You got football players out there making multi-million dollars per game, let alone per year. And uh, it's a game. Guys, yeah, it's a game. I just feel like there's a lot of people paying a lot of money to watch somebody play a game. I don't watch sports. I've never played sports. Don't get into it. I just feel like I can't do that. I'm not going to do it. taught my kids how to hunt, how to fish, how to survive. My wife taught them how to learn all the educational skills. I'm not a computer, computer guy. Don't know much about them. But I'm not saying they're bad or good. I know these cell phones and computers have made people get lazy. When I was a little boy, we didn't have air conditioning. We didn't have color TV. We, we didn't have no remote. That's for sure. When you wanted to change the channel, you got up, walked over there, and turned the dial. We only had four channels on our TV. But you know what? I can't complain. I had fun growing up. We lived in a poor people part of town. Grew up in a poor town. South end of St. Joe. You know what? We didn't have much money. But if it wasn't no more than going out and making a mud pie and throwing that at each other, we had fun doing it. I can tell you stories from being little. I mean, if we had fun. So, I remember five years old, my dad taught me how to shoot a shotgun. I don't think I, I don't think I ever outshot that old man. Only guy I've ever seen go out opening day a dozen back in the limit of skin. He stood there and killed ten birds and ten shells. I I can do it today, I'll guarantee you. Now I never shot with him on a trap ring because I think they could have beat him there. So I've shot registered targets for quite a while. The best I ever did was 175 straight. I could have went on, but the guy that I was shooting against, he missed his last target. So we didn't have to keep going. But don't think for a second, my kids, my son and my daughter, I promise you, they can shoot and they're good at it. Sat there last year, dove season opening day. Watched my daughter go out one afternoon. I mean, she killed opening day. She killed her teeth and her husband Bill, and he killed her kids. She had not shot all year. She can still pick up. Don't think that little girl can pick up a shotgun. I'll show you how to shoot. My daughter, daughter-in-law, everybody in my family. I taught my wife when she was 17 years old, when she was 22. We was out there on the river shooting these little bitty gray butterflies. They couldn't have been a half inch tall with 20. Iron sights, we didn't have scope of fashion. These people that don't know outdoor skills are going to be hurt. last night. He goes, Daddy, you think you ain't showed me enough? He goes, I think I can survive. I can go out. I know how to kill a deer or a rabbit or a squirrel. I know how to put food on the table. That made me feel proud. 
because I know my kids will not start. So, I'm just a rambling. I was bored. I'm out here driving. I still got another hour or better on the road. So, but, anyway, I hope y'all staying safe. <laughs> Once this rain gets over with, I'm going to be putting a boat on the water, dogs in the woods, and making more videos. Probably a whole lot more interesting watching them hunt and fishing than it is me sitting here talking. Got my old hat, Tim Fish, and gave you that. We was out in Kentucky hunting with Nick, Night Live Channel. Y'all don't have to check him out. Well, Nick's a pretty good old boy. We had a great time. I ain't even got my little sidekick with me. I'm riding solo today over all of them. Wearing quarantine, wearing quarantine. I'll be glad all this is over with. In the meantime, hope you all have a great day. I'm going to drive through the rain. Go get my boat. Just wanted to get on here and say hey to everybody. So, y'all take care. Be safe.